They're artivists who are elevating issues of social justice through their love language of music. Here to talk more about how they're promoting self-love and acceptance are Christina Ray Jackson and Tisha T. Payton, a.k.a. Bombshell Black and Tynamite. Bombshell Black, Tynamite, thank you both so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you so much for having us on the of last course. day of Black History Month. Happy Yay! Black History awesome. Month, everybody. Our last segment of the month for Black History Month. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Here. It's so awesome. <laughs> Going out with a bang. Yeah. So first and foremost, uh, I have to know, Bombshell Black, Tynamite, what yeah. is an artivist for some of our viewers who may not know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we use our artivism mm -hmm. in the way of spreading love uh, via our acting and our social justice issues. Mm -hmm. We elevate the world by doing so, and we mm -hmm. call that activism. Activism. Yeah. yeah. Artivism. yeah. Artivism. So we definitely yeah. are using art, actual art, music, film, mm -hmm. comedy, comics, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the show, in service of social justice issues that are very close to our hearts. And I'm glad that you mentioned the social justice issues. And when it comes to your art and your music and mm -hmm. all the ways that you express some of these issues, why is it important to incorporate the art to elevate these issues and make people more aware? Well, Tisha and I are both from the queer community. Mm -hmm. And so we grew up um, facing those struggles and those struggles mm -hmm. are still existing now. And one of the specific issues that we like to speak to about is suicide prevention and awareness in the LGBTQIA community. Mm -hmm. um, queer youth are not inherently prone to suicide risk, although they are placed at a higher risk due to mistreatment mm -hmm. and uh, stigmas in society. So we like to be very visible as African-American women who are part of the queer and the disability community to always take advantage of these type of platforms mm -hmm. to reclaim our peace and our joy and celebrate love and it's self-acceptance. That's beautiful. Yeah. And art comes in so many different forms. Yes. yes. But for the two of you, what are forms that you like to express your art in? Yes. Well, for example, I use Tynamite and the Love Revolution mm -hmm. in the form of an audiographic comic that's coming to life this summer. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And so Tynamite is a Glamazon superhero who's hailed from the planet of Venus, the planet of infinite love. And she's here to spread love, to show that everyone needs to self-heal so that we can mm -hmm. elevate the consciousness of planet Earth. Beautiful, mm -hmm. and we're actually taking a look at yeah. the picture now. Everybody sees on the screen, that's Tynamite. That's, and mm -hmm. you, you created that, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. I absolutely love that. And what about this other art piece over here that we're taking a look at? So the other piece on the right, that is a portrait I did of Nigel Shelby, mm -hmm. who was a beautiful black teen growing up in Alabama who died from suicide mm -hmm. after being treated very poorly, you know, due to his sexual orientation. And like I mentioned before, sexual orientation and gender, these aren't issues that place you at risk for suicide, but they do when society mm -hmm. doesn't accept, doesn't show the love and support. So we're here to champion that, mm -hmm. to love yourself, love others, to spread joy and awareness and not to bully one another. Um, there's a wonderful website, stopbullying.org, where you can learn how to go from being a bystander to being an upstander and really intervening in these situations where people who are seen as different mm -hmm. are treated poorly and start using our voice. We use art and we use music to share a different message, which is love and acceptance. And I love the message that the two of you are spreading. And I, I also yeah. love the fact that when you use art, when you use music and activism mm -hmm. to create change when it comes to social justices, mm -hmm. I feel like it, it elevates the message, <clears throat> excuse me, elevates yeah. the message a little bit better and helps people to understand it. So I know that the two of you are also doing that through your performances. Yes. yes. Tell us about some of the performances that you've done in the past and some upcoming ones we can look forward to. Okay, yes. yeah. We just did one on yeah. 211 for Valentine's Day. We Tell me about Our it. other aliases are Claudia and Juliet. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like a spin of Romeo and Juliet. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we performed The queer our, version. Yeah, the queer version. We uh -huh. performed our debut song Amazing. in Hayward, California. And yeah. we have an animated video coming out oh so soon. Yes. To promote that as well. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. So that was your past show. That yes. Happened. Yeah, that was our past show at uh -huh. El Bosque. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. We performed our single Love Story, which is a gay remix of Taylor Swift's original song Love that. released yeah, yes. in 2008 from her Fearless album. Uh -huh. um, so we took Love Story and we remixed it. And so we can't wait 
for everyone to hear it. And like Tisha said, the video will be out this summer. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Now, yeah. go ahead. And in case you missed it, we actually performed in a sold out show for It's Queer, a Mighty Real Sketch comedy mm -hmm. show. Yes. Yes. On last year. And it's coming back around yes. through the Queer Culture Center, through their arts festival uh -huh. this summer, literally on June 17th. Yes. So check us out there. We're going to be. Having a great time. Yep. Yeah, we'll yeah. Be this. The show back to yeah. life this summer, June seventeenth. Yeah. So check out the queerculturalcenter.org website for information mm -hmm. on tickets. Now the two of you, we just have about a minute left, so I have yes. to ask the two of you. For you personally, what does it mean to spread this love message mm -hmm. and be an archivist? Yes. Well, personally, for me, it means to self-heal first. Mm -hmm. We have to love ourselves deeply before mm -hmm. we can even spread love to anyone else here in the world. That's true. And we have to know that there's a power greater within us mm -hmm. than we even know or can feel. So we have to That's tap right. into that particular passion mm -hmm. so that we can spread love all over the world and elevate the whole consciousness of planet Earth. Mm -hmm. I love that. And what yeah. about for you? Yeah, Tisha and I have both experienced traumas. And so it's really beautiful to be here to say you can heal. You can reclaim your peace and your joy. And if you're seeing us right now, two African-American women from the queer disability community, celebrating love and sharing joy you should rejoice because this is the change that we all are really excited to see in the world and yeah. it's happening now so it means the world to me and we, have we a brought a gift for you oh, Olivia. You brought, okay yes a so surprise. Um, as an artist i create celebration of life pieces yeah and i created a piece for tupac shakur oh, he is a bay area oh, so legend nice. from oakland who look at this music yeah as a vehicle Beautiful. to spread change and raise awareness about black stories. And so we brought that piece for you. Thank yeah. you so Just much. Just to say thank you so much thank for having you. us. Yes.